no one expected the princess of Kajumbalar to take such a vow in such a situation. Everyone was shocked to hear that. In a voice full of anger and pity, Ilya Prati said, Woman! What is this vow? Why did you do it? Is there something like this? Are you mad like some crazy person? She said. No, sister. No. I am not mad. My knowledge is clear. I have now told many to know what I had thought and decided in my heart for many days, said Vanathi. Before Kundave could reply, Punghwali's laughter caught her attention. The girl really looked like she was mad now. At first she laughed cheerfully. Then Wimmy Wimmy covered her face with her hands and cried. Then suddenly he stopped crying and in a soft voice. When the waves are still, the inland sea is raging. She started singing. Kuntave looked at all Alwarkadian and said, These two women together will confuse my mind and drive me crazy. Thirumalai. Why did you bring her back here when you left to see the prince? She asked. Devi. I left to meet Pani's Selvara. I couldn't go because the whole way was flooded. I saw her standing in the same way as me. She told me that if I get a boat, she would push it and go to Tiravarur. I came back to the astrologer for that. I was happy to see their chariot boat next to the temple. I asked them to buy a boat. I thought. But the destroyer has gone with the chariot and the boat. All Workadians said. What are you thinking now? You were also listening to what the reaper had to say, weren't you? Said Kundave. Yes, mother. Every minute wasted here seems like an age after hearing that. From what this woman is saying, it seems that the emperor is in really dire danger. Even the first minister does not know that. So take the princess of Kajumbalar and go to Tanjavur at once. If Kajumbalar's forces are besieging the fort, no one but themselves will attack them. They cannot go beyond. It will be more comfortable if the goddess Vanati comes along with them. I will convince this Oda girl and get a boat and go to Pani's Selvar. I have already sent the astrologer's disciple to fetch the boat. All Workadians said. Vanati woke up startled and stared at him, I can't. I can't. I'll go to Pani's lover. Even if I die, I'll die at his feet. She said. Hearing this, Pungazali screamed, Vaishnava. I cannot come with you. My lovers have called me at Kodakare. My lovers who spit fire in the middle of the night are calling me. If the princess gave me straw, I have shown my lovers even to that warrior of the Vinar clan. I must go to them. She shouted. The astrologer who had been listening to everything without participating in their discussion until now, interrupted now. Mom! Mom! Everyone be quiet! He rushed and shouted. For a minute the sound of speech stopped there. Then another sound was heard, a noise that made the Romans panic, a roar like the noise of waves in the sea when a storm blows, heard. Mothers! You have come to this sinner's hut on this occasion. I have been telling astrology all over the country. Did I not send you a warning? Lamented the astrologer. Sir! What is this? What new danger comes upon us? Kundave asked. Mother! My disciple told me in the morning that it looks as if the river will flood and break the north bank. If the river breaks, all the water will fall into the Kaveri. If the Kaveri overflows, this poor man's house will be completely submerged. This house is very close to the Kaveri. Come! Come! Come out! Screamed the astrologer and ran out of the house. Everyone followed him out. With a panicked look on his face, the astrologer said, There! He pointed out that in the southwest direction he pointed, a strange sight appeared. They saw a verdant wall half a palm tree high a vast wall that stretched out and curved somewhat rushing toward the house. Everyone there knew in an instant that the banks of the Kaveri had broken and the flood was moving like a wall. Mother! Come! Everyone run! Let's stand on the temple hall of Amon. There is no other way to escape. 
It is good that Tirumala sent my disciple to bring the boat. Run! Saying that, the astrologer showed the way. Others followed him. Punghwali's frenzy is now gone. Goddess! Do not be afraid. I have overcome many floods greater than this. Saying that she ran away. She reached the temple hall before everyone else and jumped into it. By this time, the flood had come near the temple and surrounded it. It has climbed up to the knees of those standing below. The astrologer and the astrologer staggered up the hall. Only Kunta and Vanati still stood down. Both of them tried to climb, Pungazali at the top grabbed the hands of Ilay Aprati and lifted her up. Only Vanatha stood down. She tried to climb twice and missed both times. The two ladies upstairs grabbed her and tried to throw her in the hall. Punghuali held one arm and the younger bratty Kundave lifted the other arm. Vanatha suddenly looked up. It was seen that one of her hands was being held by a flower pot. She immediately removed that hand. She released her hand from his grip. At that speed, the hand that was holding the crotch also slipped. Vanati fell on her stomach, she fell into the water. By then the water was up to her neck. The foot is not stable. Vanati floated in the water. The flood swept her away. So much has happened in a moment, those at the top of the hall said, ah. They screamed pitifully. Within a few moments, the flood swept Vanathi onto the roof of the astrologer's house. She climbed on the roof. Good luck. No danger. She thought that. The people above the hall also saw her. They saw it hanging on the roof of the house. They also said, good luck. There is no danger. Let's escape her anyway when the boat arrives. They considered that. Don't let go of the roof. Hold on tight. They shouted loudly. Vanatha gripped the roof of the astrologer's house tightly. For a while the roof itself seemed to shake. Damn! Is the house collapsing, what? Yes, the walls of the astrologer's house have collapsed. But not only the roof fell. The roof started floating in the flood. Vanati held the roof tightly and floated. She looked back towards the temple hall. Sister. I'm going to see him. I'm going to see Pani's Selvar. Kaveri Tai is taking me to him. She shouted. What she said must have fallen on deaf ears. She sincerely believed that it would have mainly fallen into the ear of Pungazali. The roof of the astrologer's house was floating in the flood. Vanati was also leaving.